What's good guys, it's Combat here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and today I'm about to show you guys my top 10 favorite shortcuts for mixing in Pro Tools. This should definitely help you guys optimize your workflow, make sure you guys work a lot faster, a lot more efficient, and really hopefully just impress your clients. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. Combat, this is a banger, huh? So I have my track right here, Higher Than The Sun. This is by Dre Rashad. So before we get into these shortcuts right here, I just want to let you guys know that some of these shortcuts are going to be super basic and maybe to you, you guys use this all the time, heard about this, to other people they haven't. So I made sure to add some basic ones in this one and then also a little bit more advanced ones, but I have another tutorial for some more like advanced ones, you know what I'm saying? The first one I'm going to tell you guys is just Command S save command s my fingers automatically do that every 10 seconds any one of you guys has ever lost a session from not saving command s so for my next shortcut right here it's going to be option shift three and that's going to be to consolidate a file so i'm going to show you guys what it does i'm going to explain so option shift three boom it's going to render it just like that so it's one full track Consolidating helps if you're exporting stems or anything like that. Let's say you're, you're like, okay, you have all your tracks cut up. They're perfect, ready to like send out or whatever. They, all you would do is just highlight, like I said, option shift three, consolidation, and it's done. The next shortcut I want to show you guys is just R and T. R is to zoom out. T is to zoom in. It's super easy. R, T. That, I feel like that's the easiest way. Another shortcut you could do that is command bracket bar. There's a left and the command right. For whatever reason, I'm just so used to that. That's what I do. But RNT works just the same. It works really well. My next shortcut is just clicking T on beat when you're over here in the tempo. So you want to make sure you have your tempo right here. You want to just play out the beat. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to sold the beat right there. And all I want to do is just highlight the tempo and just hit press T with the beat and it will give you the tempo. So you guys can see I got 104 right there. Then you would just hit enter. Uh, you guys did see it was kind of going between 105 and 103 too, which could get confusing. Um, the way I'm able to make sure I know what it is, is I'll find like a good average of what it, what it could be. And I make sure I line up the beat to the grid to make sure it matches. And then I'll just see where we're at. So if, if I put 105 and the, and the grid doesn't match with the beat, then I know, hey, maybe it's a little fast, a little slow. And I'll just, you know, kind of adjust. But it's a lot easier than maybe putting into another. It's all right there. You just got to tap T, you know, super easy. So my next shortcut is just going to be command clicking so if you want to highlight multiple clips or multiple tracks and you want to like maybe move them over to the side or whatever you just kind of command click them and you can move multiple of them it just it just and then if you want to let's say i have all of these clicked right here like it's just all of these are clicked and i want to click just this one i could also hit hold down command click and then just click once and now i just clicked that one track so my next shortcut is going to be command shift i that's gonna bring up this uh, box right here. It's gonna say import audio. This is pretty much where you're able to import audio. So um, any audio that you have, I always recommend you command shift I and import it that way. Just so whenever you're moving your folder with all your, 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 your audio files, everything, everything's moved in there. Because if you have your stems in one part of your computer and you move the folder, and it's trying to find that, it's not going to be able to find it, not going to be able to have your stems in there. So I always recommend importing this way. And then moving right along to the next shortcut would be Option Shift I. And Option Shift I is pretty, I'm going to have a whole tutorial just on this alone, but it's pretty dope. You could pretty much import session data from any Pro Tools session. So let's say I want to import, let's say I have, I did a song with the artist yesterday and he's coming back in today and I want to use the same type of settings. I could literally go into that same session, import all the tracks with all those same plugin settings, everything and make it right. Like it's super easy. That's what that one does right there. And then we have for our next one, it's going to be Command Z. And I mean, that's pretty much self-explanatory. If you guys use computers, you just, you know, let's say I delete something shouldn't have been deleted. Command Z. Boom. And then go into the next one after command shift Z is just redoing that mistake. So command Z we're undoing command, command shift Z we're redoing pretty much the undo. And then for our last 10th shortcut right here, it's going to be the tilde. And if you guys don't know what a tilde is, I'm going to show you guys right here, but a tilde is just this button right here. And what it allows you to do is cycle through your slip, show a uh, spot, 
grid and shuffle. So slip, bot, spot, grid, shuffle. So this is what I use um, when I want to go from grid to slip really fast. I just double click the squiggle sign. Boom, 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 boom. I got a couple more for you guys. I'm not just going to leave you with 10. I mean, what type of person would I be if I did that, you know? So, <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys another shortcut. And this one right here is just Command E. It's just a cut. So let's say I want to cut this section right here. I can Command E it. Now it's its own thing. Or I, and then look, that's Command Z right there. And if I want to highlight this section right here, I can do Command E. Boom. Super easy. Catch me in the sky, I'm high in elevation. Catch me. Just command E right there, and you could just cut. So I could cut any section I want. Just command E, boom, done. And then right now I'm in grid mode. If I switch to slip mode, I could just do even smaller little parts, one little part. It doesn't really matter. And then the next thing after that would be, let's say, I have this command a E. I could do a command D and just duplicate it. Catch me in the sky, I'm high in elevation. Catch me in the sky, I'm high in elevation. Elephant. You know what I'm saying? So I want it to match up perfectly with the next bar. I would just hit that bar, Command D it. It's just gonna duplicate. Um, I do the same thing with the beat if I need to. You know what I'm saying? So if it's like a like a little effect right here or something, I need to do this. Let me solo this. I just Command D, Command D, Command D. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so Command D is pretty dope too. Makes it makes things a lot faster. So that concludes the tutorial. I hope you guys really pick something up from this today. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact me on Instagram at combat underscore K. I'll make sure I have my link in the description below. And if you guys are liking the way this everything is sounding, you guys like these presets, these templates, I actually have a website with all of that and I have some free presets for you guys right there. So all you guys have to do is go into the link in the description, www.infiniterhythmpresets.com, and I will have some free presets for you guys waiting right there. And if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that will help me out a lot, so I can continue to help you guys out. Let's get it.